you see her? There she is. Our first backpacking crew. We're gonna go for a, uh, I packed for three nights. My pack is huge. <laughs> and it's the pack I took on the JMT, which doesn't fit me right. So we'll see if I last three nights because it's not the most comfortable pack. But the one I took on the PCT is too small. It's five liters smaller. And I had to double up on sleeping bags for Sadie. Make sure she stays, she stays warm at night. Nobody gonna do it for you. Got to mind her own. Night one, it's only four o'clock, but it feels like night. Stormy and rainy. The forecast said no rain for the next three days in this area. No rain. <laughs> and I ran into a guy and he said it rains every night. So, I don't know. How about books? This is really supposed to be a relaxing trip anyway. Not about the miles. I had kind of mapped out a little lake to get to tonight. It was uh, about six, six and a half miles probably only did about half that um, trying to train Sadie to not pull on the leash that she, that's attached to my str my strap and uh, my old backpack that doesn't fit right so it feels really heavy even though it's only like 30 maybe 35 pounds and I'm out of shape so this wasn't about miles this was really just to get away so sorry I'm eating nuts half juice <gasps> oh and Sadie's got her dinner. Is it good? Starving. Hey, big Sadie. First time in the tent. As soon as I put the sleeping bag out, she just laid down on it. It's only four o'clock. We're not going to bed yet. We just set up in the rain. Well, there was a little bit of rain last night but it wasn't too bad but it is an absolutely gorgeous morning though a little windy I keep trying to get on camera the sound of the trees knocking together you know how they knock together in the wind it's so cool a little eerie but I can't catch it your water bowl little girl <laughs> you're spoiled is that your water bowl little girl is that your water bowl little girl no wandered through the woods a little bit just to find this spot last night because I was tired and it was about to rain and I just wanted to be done and uh, it's got this nice creek or maybe a ditch there's a road on the other side but it's been really quiet and I'm tucked here in the woods it's beautiful quiet I felt really isolated especially at night okay where's my tent Where's camp? That's always my fear that I'm gonna lose camp when I go to get water or go to the bathroom. <laughs> there it is.
I'm in no hurry this morning at all. I just have a few miles to the lake where I'm going to camp tonight. So nice relaxing morning. really rough for only four-wheel drive road to the lake that I had set out to get to yesterday and so far it's been a lot of climbing but it's quiet it's beautiful other than a few bicycles going by on the dirt road that was near on the other side of the creek from me I haven't really seen anybody in I don't know what time is it eh, 12 hours 15 hours this is nice. This is a nice way to backpack. Just, I'm not worried about miles. I'm just here to be here. I just want to be out, especially with training Sadie. Just wandering around, taking different trails, exploring. It's fun. She's doing pretty good. Working on not pulling. And look at her, she's actually doing really well. Nice find along the way. I'll give you a 360. That's beautiful. Two little ponds. The one here. And there's one over there. Did I give you a whole 360 yet? Hold on. is this really uneven um, meadow so I'm not gonna walk over to that other lake it's too hard or the other pond I mean this is also a good lesson for uh, solo backpacking don't do like unnecessary things that might cause injury walking on this might cause a sprained ankle or something so you know it's not really worth it to me to walk over to that other pond i can see it enough from here and i saw the first one <laughs> but yeah don't take unnecessary risks when you're backpacking solo you don't want to risk injury it's so cool though places like this you can imagine another time when this whole thing was full of water and it was just a big pond up here who knows how long ago. Beautiful. Sadie girl, you ready to go on the trail? Get back on the trail toward the lake? Home stretch. Look at this. <laughs> Holy cow. This was worth all the climbing. 
This is amazing. Just what you'd expect of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado, huh? Come on, puppy, we're almost there. The lake should be right up where, up over there, right in the basin under those mountains. Wow. Well, this is everything I expected it to be. And almost worth the three miles completely uphill. <laughs> wow, look at this. All right, what do you think? I'm gonna try to make this home. We've been walking around the lake for a little while already. It's very rocky. Ooh, I think this spot right here, I wanted something with a view. Ooh, I think this spot right here is perfect for the tent. Look at the views. <laughs> I haven't had views like this since the John Muir Trail. Yeah, home. I think we're two nights. Beautiful. Cool rock. Colorado has some really interesting rocks. Wow, they took them. There were a bunch of white things there that looked like they might have been eggs. I was looking for a rock to pound stakes in and I found it. Wow. And I reach, turned on my phone just to take a picture of it and they're all gone. They're quick. Wow. You hear them? They're teasing her. The chipmunks running around and they keep going under that rock and driving her nuts. She'll end up catching them. She's really good. What a good girl. What a good girl. Sadie, leave it. I have no idea what that is. Is it a beaver? Groundhog? I don't know what it is. Not up on my wildlife. <laughs> it's fairly cool. Awesome! And not just rain tonight, but hail or sleet or whatever it's called. I can't remember. You guys have a name for it. I don't mind. And Sadie doesn't mind, do you, Sadie girl? <laughs> morning. Good morning, puppy dog. We saw either a groundhog. I don't think it was a marmot. Got my water boiling. For coffee. It's a beautiful day on the lake.
It was a little cold last night. I'm glad I brought both sleeping bags. I put one down sleeping bag underneath us and covered us with another one. And it was a little cold. And I didn't sleep that great. I never do, especially the first couple nights out. But that's all right. Definitely need my coffee. My favorite trail breakfast, if I don't cook oatmeal, is coffee and a Bobo's oat bar. I like a lot of them. The lemon poppy seed is my favorite. They're really good. So I'm going to munch on that. Sadie, come here. Come on. I want you to leave that alone. around the lake today and I think I'm gonna climb a little bit so my battery is really running low I'm at like 28% I'm leaving tomorrow I didn't bring a backup battery because I figured how much am I really gonna be using my cell phone yeah little did I know but maybe I'll show you the view when I get to the top look at that I was walking up the hill. I was really hoping this was water. If I found a lake, but it's just rock. Probably spring, there's water in it. Look at this. Oh my God. This is why I backpack. Look at this. And I had the lake all to myself last night. There is a uh, hut nearby. So there's, I think a couple groups it looks like in the hut. And I ran into them on my way in yesterday. They were fishing. And on my way out of camp, there was a guy fishing. But uh, it's three miles off the Colorado Trail and the Continental Divide Trail. So nobody comes up here. There is a Jeep road that comes up here, but the Jeep luckily doesn't come all the way to the lake. So it's about a quarter mile, maybe a third of a mile. And uh, so it's Friday, we'll see comes in tonight but oh my god look at this <laughs> my battery's going dead there's a lot I'm not gonna get You can see my tent. There's a pile. You can see the river of rocks. And then my tent is right next to it. Look at this view.
Yep, it took two long hikes, through hikes, I guess the JMT, 256 miles, and then I through hiked, I guess, uh, Oregon, 576 miles, to make me realize that through hiking is not for me. This is for me. Going off, literally off the beaten path, off the Colorado Trail, off the CDT, the Continental Divide Trail, which is a throughway, like the PCT, and people don't go off it. And I have all this to just explore on my own, cross-country hiking. As long as I can see the lake, I'm not going to get lost. And, uh, you know, base camping, which I've always been adamantly against base camping. I'm always like, I need to move. I need to get miles. Maybe I'm getting older. I don't know. And Sadie, trying to walk with Sadie is a little exhausting. But this is heaven. This is absolute heaven. So, weird looking rock. So, uh, for backpacking for me, look at this. Wow, look. I'm walking around and I'm wondering who, who's been up here? When's the last time somebody walked in the footsteps that I'm walking in? You know, it's all cross country. Somebody's tired. Somebody's tired. Just wandering around. <laughs> this is just what the doctor ordered. I need to do this more often. Maybe instead of a pickup truck, I just need to park it, my rig, and just go do this more. This is really what I want to do. I could pack for a week and just go s s camp in one spot and do day hikes. I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Would you enjoy doing that with me? Oh my god. I'm in my element. This is my element. And Sadie's too. She is having a ball. She's just, she's like the dog version of me. <laughs> she loves to explore. I don't like to hunt, but <laughs> and eat mice. Oh my god. Look at her. Can you see her? Oh, that is one happy dog and she does really well when we're in a, a new place she keeps her tabs on me all the time make sure I'm not too far even when she's digging holes look at her she just looked at me it's when we uh, have been in one place a long time and she knows where home is that she goes off too much on her own it's just so much fun to watch her. It's so much fun to just see her so happy. And to know that I'm giving her this happy, wonderful doggy life. Oh my god, it's beautiful! <laughs> I'll have to find out the name of the lake for you. Oh, I took a picture of it on the way in, so you already know. I forgot. What's the name of the lake? What's the name of the lake? <laughs> I forgot.
gonna enjoy my last morning have some breakfast coffee pack up and head out and head back to my RV sure was beautiful here Goodbye, Slide Lake. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Woodchuck or Beaver. Thank you, Chipmunks and Birds. See you later. Hope you all enjoyed hanging out with Sadie and me on our on her first backpacking trip. And if you want to see more fun adventure and real life stuff, be sure to subscribe below. And I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Take care. <laughs>